Here we're going to start with what's called a basic drill. We're just going to run and toss. And the idea is to put two groups of players, four, five, six, seven in a group, two lines facing each other, probably 45 to 60 feet apart. You can adjust that again according to age and skills and that type of thing. But two groups facing each other, and they're going to jog, run about half speed or so toward each other, tossing a ball from various arm slots. What we'll show you is them doing it overhanded. We'll show it underhanded, sidearm, and even a backhand drill right here where they're moving, they'll have to adjust because when you throw sidearm moving, that's different than overhanded, different than underhanded. The idea, again, is to stress those things we talked about before. The receiver should catch every catchable ball. The person with the ball controls the action. She will get started. The other person will jog toward them to start the overall drill, but the other people that are in receiving line do not start until the person in the other line has caught the ball. So we don't want them to get too close together. We want the distance to stay 25, 30 feet apart so they're not throwing from 6 or 8 or 10 feet apart. Today we've started with 11 players. Numbers aren't magic. A little bit difficult to do with less than about 8 players. They'll kind of run their guts out if you're not careful. So we've got 11 today, 5 in one line, 6 in another. 5 and 5 is fine, 6, 6, 7, 7. Any of those combinations are pretty good. Let's watch them right now. If a ball goes rolling off or something, we'll toss another one in. But we'll watch the action. This is going to go for several minutes, and we'll just change arm slots as we go along. Let's get started. Good. They're just tossing the ball overhanded. The person receiving the ball has to be ready for a bad throw. Again, we said if they make a bad throw, the receiver has to make a good catch. They're doing a good job making the good throws, people focusing on the throw. The idea, again, these are dynamic focus drills. Players are moving. That lady had a little bit of a job getting the ball out of the glove. That's fine. These things are going to happen. Balls, we hope, never touch the ground, but they will. So we have to make adjustments when we do this thing. All right, let's throw underhanded, girls. Change the throw to underhanded. Very good adjustment there. It's coming from a different release point. They're actually working on visual skills. We've had some people make some catches now where the ball's not where they expected it. It jammed them. They had to reach out to the side, had to reach down, have to reach up. You're looking for one type of throw, and the player throws another one. Gets a little bit tougher right now. We're going to change it to a sidearm throw, and a lot of these players are not used to throwing sidearm. If you're an infielder, you've got to be able to throw sidearm. So we got a sidearm throw. Sometimes you don't have time to throw the ball from the arm slot you want to. Here we go. That ball rolled away. We just get some more, and we keep going. All right? The idea is to do this for several minutes with the British national team. As I told these young ladies, we did it sometimes up to 20 or 30 minutes without stopping. You're going to see a lot of different drills, but this is kind of the combination, the core, if you want to call it, the foundation that we work from. This one requires a little bit of adjusting, so girls, make sure you got the right numbers in the rows right now, and we're going to go to the backhand. They're going to run, kind of stop, get set, and backhand. The player receiving the ball could be moving, or we could have her stationary. This, again, is a backhand, where we backhand flip, and both players can be moving, or one player could be moving, and the other one stands stationary at their line. You got to realize these players only did this drill just a few minutes ago. They've never seen this drill. Actually, we created this drill while making notes for this program just a day or two ago. I've never done this drill before. So get creative and keep things going. Here we go. Keep it going. Keep things moving. Working on various throws. They have to make adjustments. They're working to catch every catchable ball. And if they're surprised, they just keep going. Great job, ladies. Great job. Stop and take a little break. 